Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to fix two warnings in the Google Play console. I'll reproduce the scenario first and then I'll show you the solution, so watch carefully until the end. You have previously imported Glade package from the Unity Asset Store to Package Manager. You imported a version of Unity in-app purchase. After you enable Unity services, they are on now. You went back to check the checkboxes you need and filled the IDs from the Google Play console. In the console, you have the products and you only copy and paste the entire product's ID. Make sure you do not have blank spaces. If you do, eliminate them. You press save and receive a success message. You set up the details in player settings. You set an API level and you signed your app with the key you created. We have another video about that. You proceeded with building the app. Then you created a new release in the Google Play console. You added your AAB format file, gave it a title, saved and reviewed. And here is the moment when you are informed that either your app is using an older version of Google Play building, your target API level is not set to 31, or both. Here is the solution. Now go back to your Unity editor and install the latest version of Unity in App Purchase SDK that is 441 at this moment. If you use Unity 2021.3.9, the latest LTS version, you will be recommended directly to install version 440 or 441. Either of them will solve the warning. To make another release in the Google Play, you must change the bundle version in the player settings. For the second warning, you should change manually the API level to 31. If you are prompted to install the SDK, accept it, it should automatically install after a bit. Do not forget to sign your app and then build your app. In the Google Play console, you can either create a new release or edit the last one, but make sure you change the bundle version of your project in the Unity editor. Press save and review. And those two specific warnings are gone. You're ready to start the rollout to internal testing. Add your tester's email address. I've done that already. And via tester's link, download your app to an Android device. This is the test scene included in Glade package. Select the products, buy them, and check the debug log messages in the background to see their status. I've already bought remove ads, and that's why this message appears. I will buy two consumable products. After each purchase, the amount of coins will increase. In our example, at the beginning, it was zero, and it adds 100, and after the second purchase, it adds 200 more while the non-consumable tax becomes true after the non-consumable product is bought. Last but not least, subscriptions. A subscription tax becomes true when it is available. This is the result of our example. Okay, you reached the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave any comments below and if you enjoyed our tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe to Glay Games channel.